Hi everyone, uh, we are we're representing the Mars Society Peru. I'm really excited for the presentation or or um, the share we are results and uh, new discovery in this uh, area of the, the astrobiology science. Uh, the first part of the the, the the large process of the this research is a speaker, but my partner, the professor uh, Robert Tuvidia. Yeah, come. Okay, so well, um, currently we we know that the human being wants to become a um, multiplanetary species. Uh, right now, there is a lot of focus in colonizing Mars and also settling bases in other places like the Moon. And well. Um, and before we could do this, uh, there's a problem because there are some places in the solar system that are, are still, hold still a lot of interest for science, uh, especially for uh, regarding the origin of life or the origin of the solar system. So, uh, so we need to, to keep these places which are important uh, without any modification until we could we could uh, study these places properly uh, the problem is mainly because we uh, any minute or unmanned mission we send to another planet or to a moon will hold some microorganisms like bacteria or archaea that if they could um, reach this place alive and could try. They could modify the chemical characteristics of these places, and uh, if, if and that would give us um, uh, some false results if, if we want to to study uh, the origin of life or if there is of there is actually life or not in these places. Uh, as we can see in this, in this table that uh, belongs to the coast bar, um, there are different uh, mission categories related to planetary prote protection. Depending on which planet or, or shelter body is the objective, um, there are different, different kind of, mission of, um, of protocols that we have to apply to, to the Mm, to, the, to the mission. Uh, for example, uh, we're going to a location that is not of direct interest uh, for chemical evolution or the origin of life, like the Sun or Mercury. We we'll, don't uh, we don't really need to apply any any protocol for avoiding um, microbial contamination. No? But if if this place is is actually important. Um, for example, if if the location is of significant interest, but there is uh, no direct contact uh, for flyby, flyby or orbiter, uh, there is n actually no need to apply um, the contamination pressure. But uh, if we talk about a lander or a rover. Uh, depending if, and also depending if, the, if it is, it's, if its mission is to search for, if to detect life or not, there are rigorous um, procedures to decontaminate this this spacecraft uh, in order to avoid any microbe to reach this place. And well, if we talk about manned manned missions, there. Are there are no no protocols at this moment. Uh, so um, we know that uh, humans could uh, could transport different microorganisms uh, directly from from their skin or their digestive tract, 
or uh, will, uh, or they can, or these organisms can also live in, in the systems that they will use for vital support. And as we, as we cannot apply any any protocol to sterilize completely a human being, uh, we have to uh, to study. Uh, how these microorganisms could affect uh, um, this environment like Mars, uh, and how could we avoid contaminating these places when when the humans go to this planet and do different activities there. Uh, so for this project, we have focused on on Martian analogs. Um, there are different Martians around the world. Uh, for example, it's Pampas de la Joya in Arequipa, Peru, where we come from. And the, the sort of you time here in the United States, that is where we, we perform this project. Uh, this place is very similar to Mars. And then uh, we decided to participate in, in uh, a simulation in the MDRS base. And um, and to measure the, the amount of, of bacteria that are related to human beings, uh, dispersed at uh, different instances from the from the MDRS base, and we also um, we also um, measure uh, how these bacteria could trans could be transported through the the ATVs. Or, or different equipments that we had um, brought to this to this analog. Uh, so, my partner Jim Oyo will continue with the methods. Okay. So, uh, the, the research developed in the, in the with with the crew 169 in the rest this year in May. Uh, was evaluate uh, the impact and the dynamic of the microbiology uh, di di dissemination around the the, the, uh, the instance uh, of the of the hub. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so uh, for for this uh, uh, for these aims, we uh, planted a, a prospective and experimental research. The research uh, was uh, developed in the MDRS. Uh, for, for, for this purpose, we planted three phases of the study. The first phase evaluated uh, the, the, the dissemination of the bacteria around the half at different distance. Uh, in the first phase, uh, it's an uh, evaluation uh, uh, without the sterilization, the basic sterilization of the, uh, the, the bots and the uh, other uh, sweet compounds. And the second phase is uh, basic sterilization used alcohol. Only alcohol. Yeah. Uh, the second phase of the study evaluated the, the directly the gloves, the boots, and the most exposed zones of the suite, like to the inferior extremities. Yeah. Uh, and the third phase evaluated um, the ATV. Well, the, the most frequently used at ATV, uh, it's uh, for the crew engineer of the tripulation, and uh, evaluate um, um, the, the, the rubber recovery was developed for a health and safety officer, Marcos Bruno. He, he, uh, this uh, rubber recovery uh, uh, implant a GPS in the, in the Martian zone. Uh, and uh, the results of this uh, um, study are uh, divided in three phases with a, a tail. In the phase one, uh, in, all, in all phases, we evaluate uh, at, uh, with a three media, three culture in the petri dish technology. Uh, Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus uh, non aureus, uh, enterobacteria, enterobacteria, and mold and chest. Why these uh, microorganisms? Uh, these microorganisms are important for the public health because uh, causes uh, most high prevalence of disease around the world. Uh, also, for the high resistance to principal uh, treatments like to antibiotics, uh, for, the, for, for example, the cephalosporin of first generation, of uh, carbapenemans, and other normally uh, antibiotics. 
Uh, Staphylococcus aureus is a uh, principal cause of the pharyngeal amygdalitis, and uh, Enterobacteria, the representative bacteria, is Escherichia coli. Uh, the Escherichia coli is uh, most prevalent in low-income countries, like to Peru, but uh, also is uh, increasingly in the uh, um, environmental with uh, preference conditions. And mountain jets for the, for the uh, purpose that are uh, the suites and the boots and the other components of the, of the rotation are uh, stored for a long time in the endurance and it's a problem. For this reason we evaluate uh, this microorganism. In the phase one, uh, it's not really in all phases the high, the, the high uh, quantity of the uh, presence of Staphylococcus non aureus and a low presence of the uh, Staphylococcus aureus. It's a uh, representative for the public health. And in all evaluated studies, uh, only uh, one isolate of Enterobacteria was uh, discovered. The, the presence of um, Microorganisms in, in each phase are heterogeneous, but uh, the dissemination of the, the principal public health bacteria are important for the uh, security, special because uh, uh, the gloves and the other parts of the suites, the, the, the member of the crew population, are exposed to uh, different conditions, at uh, different zones within the hub and without the hub a different distance of the hub. It's important for the transmissibility and the uh, dynamic of the move this bacteria around the hub. Yeah, in, in the, in the um, first uh, stage, we uh, show, we, we find our direct relation uh, between uh, uh, only isolate of Escherichia coli of enter enterobacteria with a uh, Halengus glomerulosus. It's a uh, it's a plant with a uh, most increasingly uh, in the desert of the Emdorez, Utah. In the phase two, which uh, contains a uh, double weight of the gloves, the boots, and the, the legs, the sweet legs. Uh, we find a high presence of the bacteria in the boots and in the gloves, principally with the uh, Staphylococcus aureus related with uh, uh, manipulation of these suites in, uh, in within the hub. Okay. Uh, well, this is a proportion, approximately, of the the quantity of bacteria for some. In the second phase, in, in the gloves, uh, the first is in the boots. In the boots are two triple ends and the healthy safety uh, officer and uh, um, the crew backup engineer. Uh, it's important because uh, the environmental not affect the bacteria. Yeah, it is, uh, we discovered this, this relation. Uh, and the sterilization in the second phase of the phase two uh, not eliminate completely the bacteria in the gloves, in the boots, and other parts of the suite. <coughs> this is important for the astrobiology and the, for the medicine for the transmission of this bacteria within the hub and uh, for the change of the, uh, the environmental without the house, without the hub. Uh, in the third phase, finally, uh, we evaluate ATVs and, and rubber. This is a, a rubber recovery, the Bruno's recovery rubbers, uh, with implanting the, the system of GPS represented with this scoop. And uh, in the ATV, only was sampling uh, the wheels. In all wheels, we, the, we find a high increase in bacteria. And uh, when I sterilized these uh, wheels, the alcohol was inefficient, inefficient again. Uh, and uh, in the rubber, the, the sampling in, in two phases, the wheels and the cube. In, 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 in these cases, the cube present a high, dramatically high presence of the, of the bacteria, principally for Staphylococcus uh, aureus. Uh, the, the, the simple sterilization, like to alcohol or other basic sterilization, uh, was inefficient for these uh, protocols. Well, the conclusions 
of, of this uh, research was the, the fruits uh, tames, uh, the sterilization methods using alcohol only by setting in alcohol are inefficient for uh, avoiding forward contamination in Martian and other environmentals. In the suites, in the second phase in the suites, in the boats, in the, fifth in the first phase around the different distance are, uh, they have. In the third phase, principally in the cube or system of GPS of the robot. Second, Staphylococcus non aureus, uh, other Staphylococcus coagulase negative, was the organism with higher presence in the different phases of the study. This is because uh, the Staphylococcus non aureus is related with uh, all parts of the skin of each member of the tripulation. ATDs and rubbers can transport a much bacteria, human or even more, if they provide zones where bacteria could be protected from environmental harmful effects. It is more, more important for the uh, protocols and guidelines that are planted for the principal astrobiological institutions. Further studies are needed to develop effective strategies to avoid forward contamination from mini emission. This is uh, the, the, the next objective for this research in the two or three phases in, in the next year or the other year. Okay, uh, this is a, a, a message is when you move on, the universe more with. Uh, it's a messenger for the, for the public. Uh, I have, a, a, we, we thank the, the Mercer Society Peru and the Universidad Wiener and the Pernavic for the funding this project, for the uh, funding this uh, travel for develop uh, this research with the crew 169. Thank you.